100,000 RPM grinder is definitely designed for something quite different than a 7-inch grinder that's running at 7,000 RPM. There's a massive, massive difference. Something like this is going to be able to remove material very fast, a lot of material, while something like this is designed to be able to do a lot of fine, fine work. We're back. So we've gathered all the items, all the, all the grinders, and we're going to give you guys a pretty solid idea of uh, the varieties of, of the grinders. First off, you know, this is a 7-inch grinder, significantly bigger. Um, how do we know it's a 7-inch grinder? Well, it's designed for a 7-inch wheel. And whether we use a Type 27 wheel or whether we remove this and expose a 5.8 11 spindle, uh, we can we can we can go both ways. Regardless of that, it's designed for a seven-inch uh, grinding disc. We have also a five-inch, significantly smaller. Uh, a four-inch is available as well. Moving down in size, uh, this one is designed for a four-inch or even a three-inch uh, disc. And then we move down to the smallest one of them all. This is designed for a two inch wheel. It's one of the most powerful grinders in the world and uh, it's designed to be able to get into one uh, into those tight corners and tight uh, spaces and have a lot of power uh, while going at it. Um, the flip side or the diff a different version of them is the straight uh, die grinders. And we can go from a massive um, die grinder to, and this thing that rotates at about 14,000 RPM. And we can go down in size to for smaller applications. This one is rated at 24,000 RPM. 30,000 RPM right here. And we move on to a 60,000 RPM grinder. This is known also as a pencil grinder. It's a lot bigger than your regular pens, but still a pencil grinder. And then we, we move on to what is known as a turbo grinder. Those grinders are rated at between 80,000 and 100,000 RPMs. So what happens with grinders? The higher the RPM, the less power they're going to have. Uh, they're going to have more speed, but they're going to be designed for more fine work. 100,000 grinder, 100,000 RPM grinder is definitely designed for something quite different than a 7-inch grinder that's running at 7,000 RPM. There's a massive, massive difference. Something like this is going to be able to remove material very fast, a lot of material, while something like this is designed to be able to do a lot of fine, fine work. Something in between, perhaps something like this or this, may be designed for castings. You know, if you have an engine casting and you're going to be removing the, the weld, um, the excess weld on them. Something like this is really good to, to go around. Um, different grinders are going to have different motors and sizes. This is a, the motor of a tool such as this one, a seven inch vertical uh, angular, um, seven inch right angle grinder. Something like this is designed to be used on a seven inch uh, bur angle grinder. Something like this, such as, such as this one. Something like this is designed to be used on a grinder, uh, perhaps the size of, of this one. Um, RPMs are different. Power is, is significantly uh, different. But there's one thing that does not change, and it is the components. A, grinder, a grinder's motor is, is, uh, is designed out of a few parts. Mostly, and more importantly, a rotor. This part right here is the rotor. It's designed to spin. So as it spins, it's going to push out what is known as a rotor blade. This particular motor has four in them. So it's designed to push air. How? You can see right here. As this turns, it's gonna, air is going to come in one way, push the rotor blade, and as one comes in right here, the other ones are going to come out. 
and uh, this is going to basically transmit the power to the through the through the spindle and onto the disc you can clearly see the spindle on 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 something like this basically the spindle is attached just before the collet and and um, and call it not. One of the other components of a motor is the upper plate. And of course, on the other side, we're gonna have the lower plate. Additional parts include the, the governor, and in this case, a lock nut. How do we know it's, it's a working motor? It basically has to spin. You can see, or you can hear that, see the spin and hear that, that noise. That's the motor turning. Here's the thing. This motor is not adjusted properly. It's just been put together. There's more than one step uh, towards uh, making this motor suitable to be going inside a tool. But this just gives you guys, this just gives you guys a pretty good idea of, of what the tool, um, or how the tool works. So we've seen an, a general overlook of what a grinder is, what the motor in, inside uh, looks like and how it works. And just to wrap up the video, uh, we'll show you guys two things. One, how to put on a disc. For this particular disc, this particular grinder, we're gonna be using a Type 27 center depressed wheel, basically a five inch wheel for this particular grinder. Just set it in. Bring the top part up, um, close it. And of course we're gonna need to tighten it with uh, our wrenches. On a two inch disc, same thing. Type 27 center depressed wheel. Just put it in, put it in place and go ahead and, and tie it in. Once it's snug by hand, you can you can go ahead and use the resins, the wrenches that are inside the boxes to really get a good tight um, uh, lock on them. So main difference, you know, use the right tool for the right application. This, this uh, needs to be done ever since selecting the, the model, a two inch grinder versus a five inch grinder. In paper, they may look the same in reality, this one is designed to remove so much more material than, than this. Uh, when you select the, the disc, when you select the, after selecting the tool and you select the disc, one of the things that you need to keep in mind is the RPM rating in the discs. This particular, um, this particular disc is designed to run at 12,200 RPMs right here in the, on this on this side the grinder is designed to run at this rpms basically the grinder is designed to run at 12000 rpm the disc is designed to run at 12200 rpms you want to make sure that the disc always has a higher rating than the tool itself this is part of the of the safety precautions you have to to make uh, to make just to make sure that the disc does not come apart. For TFT Pneumatic, this is Hector Maggie. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again in, in one of our other videos.